So what's the hoopla all about? It's the laws of the hoop, you know, these things that hold the head down to the snare drum. <laughs> well, actually, hoops can change the sound and the feel of your snare drum, and I want to demonstrate that to you. But let's learn something about, well, two of the commonly used hoops. This is called a flange tube, and the reason it's called a flange tube is it has a design, right, this channel is flanged. It adds rigidity to it, and also, flange hoops are made out of steel, so they actually have a musical quality to it. Check it out. A little bit like a, you know, barnyard triangle, right? Okay. Now, its counterpart, the die cast hoop, is a completely different uh, manufacturing process. It's made out of a softer metal. It's generally a zinc alloy of, of some type. Uh, it's, um, it doesn't vibrate as, uh, as nicely as the steel, and that's how it affects the head. Check this out. Kalunk! Whoa. Okay. But that's not a bad thing, because that's what differentiates the two hoops from each other. Okay, I set up an experiment for you, and you can do the listening test now. These are two identical drums, except for this brilliant finish. Same shells, heads, tuned the same. This has die cast. This one has flange hoops on it. Here's the die cast sound. Here's the flanged. Now, I don't know if you hear the difference, but from here, they're, they're totally different. And they feel totally different. The die cast, you know, because the, the hoop is, is, is uh, not as vibrant, actually has a dampening effect around the edge of the head. Dampening some of the overtones, sort of like putting one of those rings around the edge of the head on the outside, but more, more subtle than that. On the other hand, the flanged excites the edge of the head so that more overtones are... It even makes the snares react differently. So it really changes the, the characteristic of the drum. Also, the feel is different. The center of this is hard and very definite. And the center on this one is spongy and has give to it. So you can see that clearly that you can change the sound of your drum just by changing hoops. Now let me show you this. What I do is I... I get my favorite drum, it has a certain bolting pattern, and for instance, this is aluminum DW, and I put, I ordered this with flange hoops on it. Now, for a difference, I ordered a wood drum, and I ordered die cast on it. Now, you know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> what this does for me is, instead of two possibilities, two different snare drums, it really gives me four completely different sounds and feels by interchanging die cast and flange hoops off the different drums. Now, you may not have, you know, two drums of, of, of the same bolting pattern, but you can go out and you get yourself a die cast hoop and just put it on the top of one of your drums, your favorite drums, and you can change the sound that way. And that's what the hoop law is all about. It's the laws of the hoop.